Hello, this is Dustin with Home Mender, and today we're going to be doing an easy one. Tub spout, the diverter knob broke off, just popped out of there, and this guy's tired of taking baths. I'm going to show you how. Let's get to it. So first, we're going to just try to spin this guy off and it's spinning pretty easy. We've got a set screw under here, but it looks like this will probably just spin off. It's not happening. All right, looks like we've got a set screw here. I'm gonna loosen this guy. This could be what you have. Uh, this is a slip-on style. It's got the half-inch pipe and you slip on the diverter and tighten it down. Another common setup is the half inch pipe with a half inch copper mail, and then you just Teflon tape that and spin that on, caulk it around, and we're finished. But this diverter is not going to work for this one, so we're gonna need to get the slip on. Universal tub spout here. It's got this threaded piece. Some directions which we won't need. It also comes with this little threaded bushing to take you to three quarters if yours is three quarters. We're gonna slide our stub out nipple with the threads towards the wall. I'm gonna slide that on. O-ring. And we're gonna slide this nipple on and align this hole with the slot in the back. So, so we're going to thread this on. Tap on. Then we thread on our diverter. Now I'm gonna give it a test before caulking. It's looking good, we're ready to throw a bead of caulk on it. Now when I caulk the diverter on, I want to leave the bottom open just in case it starts leaking inside. It doesn't get trapped in there and leak inside the wall. So that's it. Super easy. Now you should be able to rock any tub diverter issue that you have. That Universal was able to do the slip on, the half inch threaded, or the three quarter. You got this. So for The Home Mender, I'm Dustin. I hope you learned something today, and if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.